We made it to Bacalar. We tried to find our camping spot, which we found on iOverlander earlier, but unfortunately the road is experiencing construction right now. The construction workers told us that the road would be open in the afternoon hours, which is really vague. We don't quite know when that means we can access the campground, but for now, we're just gonna park on the street and try and explore a little bit of the area. All right. I got limon and I don't know what else, but it's good. It's something with pecans. I have a feeling this is gonna hit the ground. The top one. If you're coming and interested in history, there is a fort here that you can explore. We are not going to be going this time. Normally we do love archaeological zones or any part of history like that, but we're short on time here. We want to really enjoy the lake, which is the shining star of the city of Bacalar. There's really no public access to the lake. Most of the times you have to pay to go to a restaurant or you can pay to access it from a dock. La Playita is the most famous restaurant by a long shot. There was a long line waiting outside when we passed by. We're going to be looking for something a little bit more local. We ended up passing a really cute little restaurant that ended up serving aguachiles, which is a shrimp specialty dish here in Mexico. And around a lot of coastal regions, you can find aguachiles on the menu where they like thinly sliced shrimp and they add onion and cilantro and normally a tomato sauce and it's kind of like its own ceviche where it cooks in the acid from the limes. But this place does it a little bit differently. So they had a ton of different unique flavors like mango y habanero. We ended up getting the jaimaca y habanero which is uh, hibiscus and habanero chili peppers. It has a nice spice to it, it's not overwhelming but it's very tasty. Very good, very fresh. One thing that will summon this many people this early on a Sunday in the Yucatan, cochinita pibil. Cochinita pibil is an iconic dish from the Yucatan Peninsula with deep Mayan roots. It's made from pork seasoned with sour oranges along with spices like garlic and achiote, which gives the pork its brilliant red color. Then it's wrapped in banana leaves and slow cooked overnight in an underground pit called a peep. Because of how labor-intensive making traditional cochinita pibil is, it's normally only served on Sundays, but you can find cochinita de horno cooked in an oven instead of a pib any day of the week all across the Yucatan. This is such a fun way to start the day, getting super fresh, amazing cochinita pibil and then getting to shop at the local markets. I think that's one thing I love about RVing Mexico instead of just visiting, is we get to see a much more authentic side. We get to shop like a local, try new fresh vegetables, and the prices here are amazing. This market had every single type of vegetable or fruit you could want. We totally stocked up. We're, we have some rain coming our way, so we're gonna be cooking lots of tasty meals. Very excited. We've been doing markets all wrong. Juan actually tried to get a specific cut of pork that the butcher told him that we were late to the market to get. So we got here at what, eight? Yeah. And we were still missing items because we were too late. <laughs> oh, that's all that meat. This vendor in particular had two types of cochinita, pibil, and relleno negro, which uses a mixture of chilies as a spice instead of achiote. Normally, cochinita served as a torta or taco, topped with pickled onions. We grabbed our cochinita to go, so we could feast at home. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's really good. 
worth a 6.30 a.m. wake up call. Mm-hmm. I need to go get back in line so we can get more. What do you do after eating a lot of cochinita period? You go to a cenote. Bacalar is known for their beautiful lake, and I think that's why most people come here. The laguna's name is La Laguna de Siete Colores, which means the lake of seven colors. There's some spots that are so brilliantly blue, it looks just like the Maldives. It is crystal clear and absolutely gorgeous. Right now, the lake is not as brilliant or as bright as it normally is. That's because they've been having a lot of rain here this season, but that's okay. So we decided to go to Cenote Azul, which is just outside of the Laguna. There are three more cenotes that are actually a mixture of a cenote inside of the Laguna. You can only get to those cenotes by a boat tour, which when we were in town cost around 250 pesos per person for a two hour tour that took you to three or two of the cenotes. So definitely a decent price. It just doesn't give you a lot of time to explore those places, which is why we opted to come here. It was 25 pesos to enter. They have a restaurant on site if you want to order food or drinks, they have bathrooms and showers, and we can hang out here as long as we want. Unfortunately, it started raining on our parade at the cenote, so we ended up taking the time to move to the campamento that we tried to reach yesterday. Luckily, the road was open, so we were able to get there with no problem. The first one we went to seemed closed, so we ended up finding another spot on iOverlander that actually worked out perfectly. We have a great parking spot. We have a 15 amp plug that we use, so we actually can run our AC. We have Wi-Fi here, there's an outdoor kitchen, hot showers, bathrooms, and it is right on the lake. So we have our own private access to swim in the Laguna if we please. You can rent kayaks and paddle boards here as well. So if you're coming here during great weather, this is a wonderful spot to kind of explore the area. Um, I would not suggest coming here in anything bigger than our 20 foot four class C. If you're anything any smaller, you can actually get closer to the Laguna um, or tent camp if preferred. This is what we're gonna call home for a few the next few days. What you doing? Trimming the trees so we don't get ants. This was one of the spots I was the most excited about visiting, so it's kind of a bummer to get here and not to be able to experience it in all of its glory. But that's a part of travel. Sometimes the Instagram pictures aren't exactly reality. And this is one of those times. I do know it can be this beautiful. We'll put pictures up here of what it can be. But it's it i think it depends on how much rain they've got in that season which right now even though it's the dry season which is winter there's been a lot of rain so i don't think that's been helping so if you're coming hopefully you get to experience more of the picturesque beautiful bacalar that you see in all of the videos and instagram and social media stories buenos dias it's a new day in bacalar we woke up this morning expecting a day full of rain. There's been nothing but rain in the forecast for the next few days. So we kind of figured our time here exploring was over. But surprisingly, it's a beautiful day. The sun is out. There's definitely some clouds in the sky, but it's a great day to explore. We were on our way to Los Rapidos, but on our way there, we kind of ran into a little bit of a hiccup. We're here, we made it. Not without speed bumps. But we made it. We were able to fill up the tire. It definitely needs to be replaced, but that's something we can do when we get back to town. We drove really slow just up the road and we made it to the beach club that is located at Las Rapidos. It's kind of expensive. It's 150 pesos per person for an entry fee. If you're looking for a more budget-friendly way to explore the area, I suggest going to Sac 
Pool. I'll have the correct name spelled below if I butchered that. But it's just down the road, maybe like three minutes up the road back toward Bacalar. And it's only 25 pesos per person for an entry fee, but they only rent kayaks on the weekends. And they don't have direct access to the Rapido, so you definitely want to rent a kayak so you can kayak down here and actually have fun on the rapids. Los Rapidos is a natural waterway connecting two lagunas. The narrowness of the waterway creates a strong current, acting like a natural lazy river. Surrounding the sides of Los Rapidos are stromatolites, which look like limestone rocks but are actually the oldest living organisms on the planet. The few stromatolites that still exist on Earth today provide us with as much oxygen as all the forests and are responsible for creating the ozone layer. Stromatolites can only survive in very rare places where conditions are perfect. So to avoid killing them, it's extremely important not to touch or walk on the stromatolites. Pretty much, don't be this guy. This is so much fun. It's like its own natural lazy river. Definitely come here if you're coming to Bacalar. I'm going back in. Becoming annoying. So these hinges are garbage. When they're brand new, they're really nice, but even the ones that don't get used that often don't hold the, the door up high enough so you can see inside the cabinet. And now this is the second time that this one's bounced up and ripped itself out of the wood of the door. So I gotta move it even farther over again to give it some fresh holes. And I have a way that I want to fix it, but of course I can't get any of the things that I need to fix it in Mexico. So there's that. Wouldn't be life on the road if you didn't have to fix something before you could move on to the next destination. Speaking of moving along, we're heading out of Bacalar. We're going to be picking you up with an amazing video next week. So make sure if you haven't subscribed to hit that button, ring the bell so you're alerted when videos come out and like the video. Giving us a little thumbs up shows us some love, helps us out. We'll see you next Mexico Monday. We're about to do something very exciting. I'm trying guayaba for the first time. I don't know what to expect. We've never had this before. It smells really good, like an unripe mango. All right. I expected something else, actually. I expected like a sour kind of flavor, maybe a little sweet. I don't know. It's like a stone fruit type of a situation. That's good. <laughs> 